The seraphim's body is partially blind. Its pupils are more receptive to darkness, shadows, and subtle bursts of light. The skin on its feet can see changes of texture. The seraphim's body is a necessary prosthesis, an extension of the house machine. The joints of the seraphim's body allow for it to move in a certain restricted way. As such, it is a perfect extension to the machine, a body of labor. The runners on the balustrade around the balcony mark the kneecap and the hip bone of the servant body. The spine is reduced to only two segments and bent to the side at a single pivot point. The liminal dimensions of the servant doorways suggest the body with elongated arms and the joints calcified around the scapula. The knees were meant to bend at most of 90 degrees. The servant body learned to break out of the constraints of the sockets, extend itself and misbehave. The servant body became one of broken symmetries. 